Welcome to the IBM Podcast Network. Episode 30 of Cyrus Says was released on August 17th, 2015. Just to remind everybody that language usage and content that we provide here may be disturbing, disgusting, probably will be and should be. Words like bloody custard and words that rhyme with that may be featured. Actually will be featured. In fact, perhaps will only be featured. Just warning you. You're listening to Cyrus Says. All right, I've had it. I'm going to, uh, I can't take it anymore. It's called Cyrus Says the Show and that's not why I can't take it anymore. I just want to spell out another problem I'm having. You go to a cinema and they make you stand for the national anthem. I don't understand that. Please, please, what is what is the correlation between standing and uh, singing the national anthem and being a, a patriotic at the cinema? I don't get it. You know, I don't understand. Why do you have to do that? You've come to watch a movie. So why do you have to stand up and sing the anthem? What's why? What's the connection here? Imagine the, the movie is about this uh, incredible uh, blue-colored human being in a space suit chasing another blue-colored human being. And before that, I stand up and sing the national anthem with my two kids. I mean, I don't get it. Plus, they charge us too much money. Why should I work? I've come to entertain myself. So I need to sit and watch, not stand up and sing. I'm not the entertainment. So enough. There's no uh, limit to this jingoism. Please stop it. Don't force us to sing. I'd rather serve in the army. On second thoughts, I'll sing. It's okay. It's called Cyrus. Uh, You're listening to Cyrus Says. Yes, we're talking about Independence Day. Where is India now? Where will India be? It'll be in the same place geographically, but you know, metaphorically, where will India be? We'll discuss bans, political one-upmanship, lack of respect, uh, Hindu supremacy, brain drain. Well, maybe not all, but some of that. And of course, coastal roads in Mumbai are causing Amit Doshi. A little bit of happiness. Yes, it's a very important uh, moment in the history of India. My birthday, August 7th. Uh, but that passed. And uh, now we move on to the other uh, big milestone, which is Elvis's death anniversary, August 16th. And between the two, we have Independence Day, when India invited the British to leave from our perspective and the British left from their perspective because it was too hot. Well, there are different theories, but why get into that? First, let's get into the fact that we look back at, I think it's about 69 years, and let's not get into that number of uh, of being so-called free. Uh, do Amit, my producer, is checking the number. He's worried I got it wrong. 68, 69, it all depends on where you're starting from. You see, in India, we have this whole thing about running when you talk about the birthday. Any middle class person will tell you, I'm running 11. That means I'm 10, but I will be 11. But at the moment, I'm running 11. So we're running 69 from what I gather. We'll see. We'll check it out. We have all the people here to do that. Chavi, don't talk till I introduce you. People won't wonder who you are like that. <laughs> they know who I am. I'm on the show pretty much every time. No, I don't mean that, Chavi. What I mean is I need to do a nice intro saying, ladies and gentlemen, we have our research in charge, one of the finest producers and anchors on the on the planet when it comes to podcasts, uh, Amit Doshi. Uh, no, <laughs> Chavi, 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 you. As well as uh, Amit. And Amit is our producer. He's the actually, uh, he's a visionary behind this whole podcast format in India. And I'll give him two points for that and take away 98 because he's insisted on putting himself on the show today. But there's a reason for that. See, we wanted to talk about August 15th and India in general and you are the right person, Amit, to talk about this because you're always unhappy. Yeah, so I, I thought you need to come here and rant yourself. That makes a lot of sense. I oh, am We did unhappy. try to get some famous Indians who represent India like Vishy Anand didn't call back. Sachin Tendulkar didn't get his number. <laughs> Amit, Bachchan too busy advertising different states of the country. You had to take a dig. You had to take a dig. I was being nice to them. You had to. Why? Why? Because they're, what are they done to us? We don't attack them. They're soft targets. We have to attack the parliament, but not in monsoon session because nobody's there. The, the, right. There's nobody to attack. Okay, now let's start right at the beginning. August 15, are you patriotic? Amit Doshi, producer of our podcast number 22? Yeah, reasonably so, I guess. I, but I do agree with you about the whole national anthem you thing stand at the up? movie theater. I have no choice but to stand up, but I think like this is the silliest law that there is. I mean, if you think about it... Uh, who, who, uh, once this law has been passed, what person who is in government is ever going to say that, okay, it's okay not to say the national anthem anymore? But I don't get there, the correlation. There's no way to, there's no How way to get the this. hell does it make you a better patriot if you have to stand up during a, before a film starts? I don't, just don't get it. It's just classical conditioning. You as an yeah, Indian, this is not 1934 Maza, Berlin. It was 1992, this, this right? This moustache is not here. It doesn't make any sense. 
It's yeah, no, but this is kind of it, it just it makes it makes no sense. Remember there, there was that thing a couple of years ago where uh, some some guys yeah, no, no, some guy slapped some woman because yeah. she wouldn't stand because no, she I, wasn't a citizen. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I mean, like you know, it's just the, 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 there were good. There's a good point and bad point in that. And the good point is that the movie was terribly boring. So that whole incident made the whole public, you know, have a good time and they were really happy with it. And so it's something that if it happens more often, people fighting over the national anthem, I think uh, maybe that's good for entertainment. But the bad point is that it was ridiculous also because. I I can't understand why people think you're unpatriotic in this. It's just, it's all a f- fake sense of it everything. Is. It absolutely is, right? I mean, like this kind of display of over why display of patriotism. Why, why do they have them in schools? Are you opposed to that as well? No, no, one second, one second, one second. There's a time and place for everything. I'm yeah. seeing so at 10 30 in the night the right after a long day. Why do I have to stand up? Does it make me a less of an Indian? I mean, I pay my taxes. I try not to shoot Indians on sight. I do everything that normal patriots should do. What the hell is wrong with people? Why, why can they understand that's enough? And by the way, if you're really a patriot, don't stand up and sing anthems in the night. Go and fight on the front. We had 43 infiltrators yesterday uh, at the, the Wagga border. Go there. People do what they can. When the right wing parties talk about army. this, I'm saying send them there. Instead that of beating do. Valentine's Day uh, shop owners. Oh, not Valentine's go, Day. People no, no, it, it, it's all the same. Hotels. It's all the same family. Exactly. Chubby, so all within the when same did you life? become like this? What I'm a patriot, but I'm, I'm, I'm no I'm less a patriot. State. This is this is I don't wrong. Want moral policing either, yeah. but I think there is a time and place for it, and I think reiterating your nationalism uh, without being uh, jingoistic or casteist or religionist is fine. That's what I'm saying. I'm just saying don't force it down your throat. Why not? Because this is not medieval England. This is India. Yeah, you We're a democracy. Be, you, you, I don't think there would be anything else which you would be okay with with somebody is forcing you to do for no reason whatsoever. I mean, there there is absolutely no point to this. I mean, no like, why, point. Yeah, why There's are no we sincerity doing from so, our part. We stand up because they want yeah, us to. Yeah. We're not standing up out of love. We sh- it only works when you're doing it because you want to do it. And they can't ever make you want to do it. They can only force you to do it. It's like marriage. Uh, well, not exactly. But you know what I mean. <laughs> I think it's about conditioning, and I, I don't mind it. So you don't mind? And you're Absolutely okay not. with conditioning? Yeah, you're okay I sing with being the national conditioned? anthem every time I stand up, and I watch a lot of movies. But no, but why do you have to have the national anthem before I see Charlie Chaplin on screen for two hours? How, how, how can you say you're okay with being conditioned, though? I mean, like, how can you say it's you're okay with It's not for me. That? I'm already a patriot. I'm talking about Chavi, hi, hi. Chavi, <laughs> hi, hi. It's my show. I'm going to increase the hi, hi. Uh, my engineer friend, Kiran, please make the hi, hi really loud. Actually, Chavi. put it on reverb and put echoes in. So what that the? This is not right. This is not right. A person of your repute, someone who ran away from India for 12 years because you couldn't get the heat <laughs> and just lived in Tennessee then you come back and then you talk about all this like, come on this is wrong this is the wrong thing let's understand our history our culture that's fine you teach people things that's good so one year conscription in the army yes then become a patriot you know stand there and face the freezing cold huh, you're saying there are no degrees of patriotism that I'm saying at 10.30 in, in the night do. after so a long day I don't want to stand up before I watch a movie which cost me 2,000 rupees also. to watch minus the popcorn uh, I'm rather fat, so they charge me a little bit more. <laughs> Two seats per person in my family, but that's another issue altogether. That is a different. I think Amit and I look. Let's be. This is a democracy. It's all about voting. Amit and I against you here. There's two to one. And uh, voting, so you, it seems. may I just say, without gloating, you lose, Chavi. We just win, Amit. Because I'm in the minority. No, I'll come to minorities. I'm the minority. <laughs> Don't talk about politics in India and minorities. We got lots of time. All right. So it's uh, Independence Day, and I've written down a few things. Uh, one thing that stood up. It's a time to reflect Almost like a sense of New Year And all you look back at the year 2015 We have a government One year three months old um, And now people are saying Not that much different From the last one No all right, we've What had a surprise a, right Yeah really Shocking <laughs> Unbelievable Politicians being politicians Who would have thought Yeah Yeah where did that come from We all thought India was cured Right Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No we're still sick uh, So uh, one thing that stood out I think uh, all of us will agree Is this banning culture As comedians we do it all the time now Because it's like a huge joke You ban everything Everything uh, There are like 30 things that have been banned in the last 18 months except for the ban issue Unbanning. itself right yeah, yeah no banning bans uh any points here any thoughts i'll just give you a porn beef uh, comedy shows and bad language and things like that you know from just open your minds and tell us what you feel yeah it's just it, it, it makes no kind of sense it's it's absolutely illiberal it's i, I and okay. what what is the point? amit you're a hindu what's your call on beef uh, I believe that anybody should be able to eat what they want to eat. I mean, like, uh, so your personal belief is uh, tr- not doesn't transcend your sense of egalitarianism, which you have. Uh, I stumbled on that word. Yeah, it, so no, I guess I mean, like, that's true, right? I mean, uh, uh, also, I mean, like, beef is generally, from what I understand, at least, something which is eaten mostly by non-Hindus, right? Yeah. So the, w- what we're seeing is we're seeing majoritarianism, non-orthodox seeing. Hindus. That's I won't give it true. away, I mean, yeah, about yeah, what yeah, you yeah. are. I'll let true. it be since that, we eat that, together. That, that is yeah. true. That is true. Hmm. 
Yeah, but uh, I mean, it's majoritarianism. It's like, you know, majority rules and we're trying to basically... Uh, so hence the question is, are we a Hindu state or are we a secular state where everybody is taking it We're supposed to be a secular state, right? But we're and you've answered your own question by thing. being ironic about it. Are we I wasn't trying to be ironic. Hindu I was being state? stupid and asking you. We're sliding. We're sliding, no, sliding actually, and sliding no, Chabi, I think this is no longer satire. We actually don't know the answer. <laughs> are we or aren't we? Nobody really knows because you can't get water buffalo if he dies on time and on his own. <laughs> so, you know what I mean? There's a levels of satire which are beyond me. I, I, I'm not preempted. Terrible. I can't reach it. It's that yeah, no, I mean, I also, uh, I mean, there was one thing which I was reading during the beef thing. I mean, like, what is the difference between a buffalo and a cow? I don't know. I didn't know there was a difference. <laughs> it's, it's, I don't want to be racist. Yeah. I don't want to say one color, people all look the same. But I really struggle with the whole bovine thing. Exactly. It's, it, it's, an it's an the same lover. species, right? So, I mean, like, it's yeah. essentially the same species. It's yeah. just slightly different it's, genetics. It's, so it's, it's, like, it's buffalo racism, which is also in many ways just absolutely wrong. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's like kill white people, but don't yes. kill brown people. Yes. Kill brown people or don't kill white people. It's, it's like, you know, it's, it's actually white and off white. So you're looking at Latinos <laughs> from Spain versus, uh, you know, the Teutonic races from Germany. Of course, uh, we are in the chicken section. Wait, in, I'm in thinking this of analogy. water buffaloes, which are black. Are they? Yeah. Are you sure? Bluish black. Is there a metaphor there? <laughs> no. Is there something yeah, more that we need to understand? You could just stretch it further. And, cow, and cows are, are light on? black, is it? Cows are white or brindled Cows are white. Or brown. Okay, yeah. You're absolutely crazy. All right. <laughs> no, the cows. Laughing cows are white, cow, the cheese brown. brand is white. <laughs> Laughing cow, no, no, the cheese no, brand. On. So I'm really thinking of water buffaloes, bears. Huh? That's not what the beef is that's being sold. The cara beef is not bears. It's buffalo. Yeah, it, it is. Buff- it, it is, is buffalo. It is. Bears. Water buffalo is only when the buffalo has a bath. So no, water buffalo is no, no, those water buffaloes that you see in water buffaloes. Water buffaloes when you see a good-looking buffalo and the cow says, "What a buffalo!" <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, I think water buffaloes are what you're remembering from lo- those 1990s animal from movies. From your first vehicle in, in, in Delhi. I'm remembering from what the bloody we- talab, man. No, no, those are not your first vehicle in Delhi was a buffalo-drawn thing. No, but when I when I went to visit my nani, who at that point lived in Gurgaon, when Gurgaon was not this mall capital of the world huh. when it was a gown huh. there was a lake opposite a lake a pond uh, and there were buffaloes in it but all yeah, the time those are buffaloes. Water buffaloes. Those are buffaloes no no water buffaloes I think are African animals if I'm not mistaken those are wild buffaloes wild those beasts are, those are and they're news buffaloes. that's no, another no, thing no. altogether these the are African water. variety actually anyway whatever. No, I think we've gone we were trying to disc- I, I don't know what happened here guys it's all about we started ranting and raving in a, a jingoism and you know us liberals and blue blue blee and now we're discussing the buffalo trade beyond a degree that's expected by zoologists across the world we have to take a break right now because there are people calling in and saying stop this is not animal planet <laughs> Maybe they've got answers for us. No, I think they're thinking if me and Amit should join the Buffalo trade in the sense that we <laughs> represent them. We'll take a break Buffalo and come back. Buffalo soldier. Uh, in the heart of America. <laughs> All right, it's Cyrus says we're back. We were discussing buffaloes, and in some way that seems to be symbolic of our democracy because the the difference in the buffalo skin tone is causing a huge uh, change in your mindset in terms of what you can or can't do. But let's move to porn. No, I guess the, that's just an even crazier one, right? I mean, like if you think about it, the way that this whole thing came about, some dude decided to put together a list of nine hundred, eight hundred and fifty. Mister Vaswani, right? I His think was there were yeah, a couple so. of them. Actually. Because yeah, I have two friends who are Vaswanis and they weren't related. I checked. <laughs> they were most upset. Yeah, go on. No, but I mean, like uh, he put together this list. He gave it to some government lawyer, right? So, uh, this Pinky Anand. Right. She went and gave it to the Department of Telegraph, and they just said, "Okay, banned." And I mean, like you know, there was absolutely but no logic did they to this. View all 857 sites. Absolutely. Did you see the names of the sites? Yeah. I saw that. I, I had never seen the Quite list hilarious. until I saw them on uh, this. Uh, MamaHandjob.com. Uh, yeah, was yeah. Very interesting. <laughs> Somebody double X, uh, ma- grandma, like in the it name was, of the URL. Or just I would like to meet the people who really subscribe to that particular website. <laughs> I just want to no, know no. what they're thinking. Yeah, but what, back- what I'd like to understand is, I mean, like from the government's perspective, what was the thought process behind this? I mean, like, was it just like one? Uh, and yesterday, when they were in court, the uh, the solicitor general Mukesh Rohatki, I think. Well, he was talking about how we don't want to get into people's bedrooms. We don't want to. I should think not. Yeah, no, no, okay. we, we don't want to. Uh, <laughs> we don't want to did. do that kind of moral yeah. compassing, a uh, moral uh, policing. Uh, policing, policing exactly. And I mean, like, so where did this? Uh, where where did this thing start from? How did it happen? You know, I mean, like, you know, you know I know people. Sorry, Chubby, I know people actually. People like me or technologically challenged TCs, I call them, who are actually worried, uh, uh, putting the phone on, thinking they can be traced now. In the sense that you well, know, that I, you I, can. I, I know, but they think they're actually a government with 1.3 billion people uh, almost is sitting around doing nothing else but worried about the buffalo vis-a-vis cow <laughs> and with the yawn on a website which you shouldn't be on. I mean, I, I, I don't think priorities are important here. No, so that data is being analyzed anyway. 
anyway, if somebody is paying attention now oh. or later, um, the, mine all over eighteen subscribers. <laughs> okay, uh, what you think? Mail on mail is is, is it's it wrong? Still banned. Oh, oh, damn it! <laughs> I don't know if it's wrong, but uh, it's banned. Potato, potato, cow, buffalo, tomato, tomato. When will it end? What I feel is like we've just entered this this era of everybody's. Entitlement to being offended. So if one person yeah, is offended, well, put, well you know what? Entitled it's to be offended. offended me. It must be offending everybody. We need to ban it. You're right. No, but that and that's something that I you know I mean I find that even with uh, fairly liberal people, they feel in, yeah. uh, and this might be part of Indian culture and just the way that we are that people feel that we have the right not to be offended. I think the right to privacy. Just forget it from an emotional point of view. The right to bloody privacy in a bloody democracy gives you the right to do some things on your own. If I want to sit here and worship a right wing party in the confines of my room, I should be allowed should to do be, it. Uh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. You know, now, if I do it publicly and then you want to look at conditions and law apply, I'm okay with it. But some privacy, when I pee, I hold my, you know what, my hand and pee. I should be able to do that. They shouldn't start telling me veer to the right and make sure it doesn't hit the left. You know, I mean, it's either or, or nothing. Unless you're actually hurting somebody or damaging somebody or infringing on their other rights, you, you can do whatever the hell you want. So the internet, is, the internet is not television. Otherwise, what's the point? It's just smaller screens. What's the point? Well, the whole everything. Point? Even, like, for example, hate speech. You know, there is going to be dissent. There is going to be. Somebody who's going to be offended by You something. can't not allow dissent Otherwise you don't you have, have a democracy exactly. exactly One man's terrorist Another man's freedom fighter I hate yeah. to say No but that is true right? Yeah, I mean, exactly. like, and so coming, I mean, coming back to porn Because we interrupted you So the, the, the case went to court A little bit, a bit back And then they revoked it But these 850 My point is 857 And that's a ridiculous number right? Yeah. I mean like There are actually Hundreds and hundreds Of thousands of end. porn sites And, 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 and many don't have and many, that's just yeah. That's nonsense numbers I mean, <laughs> like, Many don't have a double meaning Huh? Yeah, no, there's red like, parrot. Like bad boys, you won't immediately get it, for oh, example. No, but uh, and the, the thing is, I only have, have the boy sites, but anyway. <laughs> no, sorry. but even the porn sites, there were sites in there which were legitimately not porn sites, yes, right? I mean, we spoke humor. of College Humor, we this spoke French, about the uh, French newspaper, newspaper last week. Although College Humor was worse than any porn site. Well, so college Humor, yeah, it's painful. Yeah, it's, it's damaging. Yeah, exactly. You know, From an aesthetic point of view, well done, government. One point, shabash, as you say in cricket. Yeah, but Amit, what I like about you is that you took the time to go through all 857 websites <laughs> and make your own points. You know, tick, non-tick. I mean, I mean that's beautiful. I, you care so much I work about hard, man. I work hard. Top five porn actresses, not that you ever watch. Uh... Da 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 da. Tracy Sunny Lawrence, Leon. Sunny Leone. Sunny Leone, top five. Well, she's there, right? I'm trying to think of names, oh, you're right? Just, just, you're just recalling. I'm so you're not like me. You're not. A, you don't have that yeah, uh, aesthetic have uh, connection. Yeah, the con- I'm not. A, I'm not what you'd call a connoisseur. I'm a connoisseur. I love. Uh, you tell us what are your top five? Uh, but they're all from the 80s and 90s because I don't watch so much now. <laughs> but my wife may listen to the podcast. <laughs> As if she cares one way or the other yeah. after whatever 14 years of marriage. Uh, hi, Aisha. Separate so, bedrooms. Uh, that's how we Sena. work. Sena, Shiv Sena, yeah. <laughs> they're, they're not for the band. I spoke to somebody high up. Uh, he was busy on the phone at the point, so there was no question. No question. And he was one really. 1 number. Uh, no, they were watching, but only the porn has been Marathi. That's uh, the only. Subtitles. Uh, yeah, that's it. But Actually, I, you do no, dialogue? I mean, dialogue? I mean I, how does this work? I, well, you know, honestly, it's not Shakespeare. So it's not very long lines. It's, hello, I'm the plumber. I've come to fix the taps. And then Inga will say, oh, you're looking very nice. I'm going to the bedroom. Then Why don't you lay some pipe? Okay, Why try you, yeah, it's, it's like that. So now this is only because of the government that we went into this whole subject. And hence, we went through 857 porn sites and we have knowledge. Thank you, government, for yes, forcing know. us to do this. The Streisand there effect. There you go. I would have gone back to my theory of relativity, uh, just the position of the diagram that you had shown on, <laughs> on the earlier show. <laughs> no, that didn't make any no, sense. No, but do you understand what you're trying to say? Uh, Einstein's doing a handstand somewhere. In, <laughs> Rolling over. In New screen, York where he's yes. buried. All right. Uh, so that's porn. Last word on the subject. Uh, um, it's revoked, but it's revoked conditionally. What does that mean? Well, uh, they they say no child porn, which is like just the dumbest well, come thing on. as well. Right? I mean, yeah. everybody says no yeah. child which porn, right? I mean, like, world yeah. is okay with child. Yeah. Nobody is, and none yeah. of these sites. I mean, like all of these sites that they're talking about, especially like you know the. The porn is a big industry, right? I mean, like the the sites that are popular sites like uh, X Hamster and uh, Hamster. That's one of Much them. Women dot com. Uh, then I mean, but I mean, like all there of no these hamsters involved, don't they? I hope not. No, 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 no. It's just a, a clever name. Yeah, Chab, you don't act innocent, huh? <laughs> because you've done the research. I'm holding the paper in my hand with your signature on it, and you've ferrets given, I've heard you've given two thumbs up. I know ferrets are involved sometimes. Uh, well, who's involved? Ferrets? Ferrets? No, no, yeah. ferrets are not involved. What are you? The bestiality are, and child thinking, porn is not. Uh, you can't do that. Yeah. That no, but see, I mean, like, the thing is just that, right? These sites are their multi-million, like, tens of millions of dollars of revenue profits. a week. 
You know, so I mean, like, there, there's no way that they have any also, possibility uh, of letting okay, this kind of stuff also on. Also, it's I hate to use this analogy, but it's almost like the terrorist uh, issue. Huh. You kill one, and then one is you know immediately available right? or at the same point. So you drop a website or whatever. There'll be ten more today. And, and the, listen, the, the bands it's that like we do. Sites. Listen, no, there and the bands we do in India to contribute to porn. We're only looking mostly at American and some uh, Scandinavian porn Bangladesh, sites. Bangladesh, I believe, is very oh, high. There are plenty this. which have not yet reached us. Hmm. More to come. I warn you, government. No, but even Kripaya, no DJ, coming soon, sir. The, the, <laughs> band, <laughs> parn, <mar parn. laughs> the the band that they're trying to affect as well, it's just completely ineffective. Anybody with half a brain, not you don't even need a full brain. You just need the ability to say, how do I access porn? See, That's all you need to be able to Google. If you have a full brain and you're on porn all day, you start feeling sorry about your life. You know? <laughs> that is true. Half brain, you're happy. That is Lovely. true. That I was true. thinking uh, in the next elections, if I was a party like ARP or one of these younger parties, smaller parties who need more attraction... I would just say I'm for porn and I'd get the whole youth vote. I think I'd probably so. get a lot True. of people. Uh, between privacy, 18 and net neutrality and no ban on uh, porn. You're, it's you're almost in. the same thing. Yeah. In, in some, uh, net neutrality is a different issue slightly. Yeah, it involves big corporates and money and up. So I, you know, there are two sides to that coin. But And we need their support. We, 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 do. we want them on our show. Yes, yes, we are yes. not sure about net neutrality. Yeah, we'll net get neutrality is an okay, okay thing. We kind of get it. but We are sure about porn. Shall we please stay with us on the program? Come on, we worked, we rehearsed this whole thing. Yeah, okay, I think we have to take a quick break and then we'll come back. Uh, still discussing lots more. It's Independence Day, we haven't gotten to the whole Independence Day feel. Feeling good, Chavi, on Independence Day week? Um, yeah. From your reaction, I can tell you a patron. <laughs> we'll come back. <laughs> And now we have to get into that uh, feminist India moment here on Cyrus Says, where we ask each other, what do you feel about India on August 15th? Kya feelings hai? My Hindi is not very good, but uh, I'll try. Kya feeling hai? I made it singular. It sounded more Hindi. But Hindi is all about singular plural. Na? How many player hai? <laughs> you, how many player, how many player hai? hai? <laughs> Come on, you're a Punjabi, you answer. Uh, I'm, uh, you have to also change the uh, genitive. The, 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 the so, present continuous. Huh, like, bro, chao ke ghar ja That's in the south. In the south, I had a fabulous moment. See, this is all patriotic talk. Oh. I was uh, shooting a commercial many years ago when they would use me in commercials. And um, uh, this guy came to the trailer and said, Sir, uh, you don't get ready. So I said, but what happened? Sir, don't get ready. So I said, but why? Why? What happened? A uh, madam is falling. So I said, Madam is falling. Uh, so I looked up because, you know, <laughs> what is this? Ma- Madam is like 300, 400 feet high. But Madam had already fallen and okay. injured her ankle, the, the oh. lead model. Oh. And so he was coming to convey the use of Madam is falling. So I said, but still falling. No, I'm falling. And now she needs need some time to repair. So I said, oh, okay, okay. And then so two hour break for the ankle day. But ma- Madam is falling. That, that, that's the south. So can mm-hmm. I tell you a contemporary version of Please this? do. Be a patriot. I have a, I have a friend uh, called Rakhi, whom Amit has met. Yeah. Rakhi, hi. Don't hi, Rakhi. Uh, so we were going somewhere together and I had to go drop something off on one in the, one of these fancy apartment buildings in Bombay where you have a private elevator that opens into your apartment. Let's act like we've never been in those because ours is a middle class program. <laughs> really? <laughs> What's that like? Oh, wow. yeah, Sorry. I know. Yeah, you mean uh, no listen, smelly lift men? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's a rant for another day because I love India. Oh, go on. Anyway, so um, I went, gave my package, and the girl. Uh, what? <laughs> okay. This is not a porn movie. <laughs> <laughs> gave my package. I'm so sorry. You just, we're twisted. 857 yeah. websites is all coming out of my head right now. So I delivered the uh, the package. The goods. The uh, goods. Uh, and the woman had clearly just woken up. She was in her pajamas. She took it, and then what she neglected to do was swipe me into the lift so I could go down. Oh. So I was Again, standing a in the lift, comment, but go and on. and I pressed ground, and then you know I adjusted my hair, I checked my belt, checked my shoes in the mirror, and like a good two minutes later, realized I was still standing. On the thirty-second floor, so then I start like pressing. I can't open the lift. Oh, I can't oh, do anything. You're, you're boxed in. I'm boxed in. Oh man! So, so anyway, then the lift suddenly started, and I start moving downwards, and I'm really excited. Yay! Like leaving. But somebody else had pressed. Somebody else had pressed on the twelfth floor, and then had obviously vanished or dematerialized. Oh, there was found the there. other lift and gone. Yeah. So then I'm on the twelfth floor, and I can't even find the stairs. Like everything is thumb uh, print activated. So you can't get out, and you're stuck in. Yeah, stuck on the twelfth floor. So I called Rakhi. Thankfully, there was a signal. Finally, Rakhi uh, is Australian. Sorry, Rakhi, don't hate me for doing this. So Rakhi, what did Rakhi goes. Sigh? Rakhi goes up to the watchman and says, uh, "Madam, are Rahi hai? And they're like, uh, Madam, <laughs> okay, uh, Madam Arahi hai. And she's like, Nahi, Nahi, Madam Arahi hai. Like, <laughs> now this is a porn moment. If ever there was one, and if you ever watch Hindi porn or Urdu porn for that matter, you'll find that it doesn't translate in the way you think. No, so this didn't translate at all. And so yeah. they were like, Good for you. <laughs> she's like, No, no. 
And then I, and I can hear her. And I'm like, no, I can give them the phone. Let me talk to them. I'm stuck. <laughs> nine, so one minute, one minute. If, if this was, again, I'm thinking aloud here. She's shouting no, no at the top of her voice. The other one's saying, Madam, are you here? And uh, I mean, at the same time, it's now it's porn content for me. <laughs> Should we try it? With, with uh, Madam, are you here? No, no. no, no. no. Madam, are you No. <laughs> Oof. We've got our film. Indo Australian Productions. <laughs> Excellent. So that's 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 the real India we live in, and that's the truth. And now let's have a patriotic moment each. Come on, three things we like about India in in this section. Come, on. let's say something nice. Otherwise, we're doing a lot of bashing here. Amit, three nice things. Uh, it's a good place to live. Okay. Uh, it's a. It's a good place to live if you have a certain amount of money. Okay. I don't know point. people who would be like, can I go to New York and live in? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, let's see what else. Uh, what You're really struggling. It? I know. I kind of. I am. like that. There's a lot of potential here. I think the economy. What do you mean? Potential. That's a, that's a feminine is in the answer. Listen, that's the best answer, answer right? Because Everything is opening up. All about the future, man. Oh, Nothing future. about what's there. Rising. Power. Exactly. Not just that. It see, there's opportunity for. I think we are a meritocracy more like than this. we're not. I give you a point yeah. because it doesn't sound. No, uh, and see, the second we start talking about the future, we don't have to worry about what's going on right now. Is that why a man? Is that why a man leaves his wife for another girl? <laughs> no, I guess no. So. I'm sorry. Have you seen the movie High Fidelity? I'm not or allowed read the book? in theaters because they make me sing their national anthem. Right, right. You're banned. Yes, yeah. banning you. Yeah. So in High Fidelity, this book by Nick Hornby, basically the crux of it. Why is do you have to show off with the whole title and the name and the author? You're with him and me. We are porn people. You're never going to make a point with us. Our listeners might sorry, be listeners, slightly listeners. more smart than you. We don't want them. Oh, we don't Who's want. No, we do. Don't do this. Don't the really do this. smart ones read books. <laughs> Come on, go on, go on. <laughs> oh no! Anyway, that's that's whom I'm trying to talk to. Remember that book by Nick Hornby? Huh. And essentially, the point is, this guy keeps chasing this other. Is this woman. gonna be as long as the live story? No. Because that was half the show. Sh- be quiet oh. and listen. If you keep interrupting, of course it'll get. I'm worried for the listeners. They have attention spans of rats. Um, you mean yourself? You mean rats who can only do three seconds. Those are goldfish. Two. A rat and a goldfish <laughs> conversation <laughs> is one. Go on, yeah, go on. So the point is basically that when you chase somebody and you're interested in how beautiful they look and all, you know they're wearing the lingerie because it's the beginning, at some point they you get used to the them. lingerie. Yeah, when you first <laughs> date somebody, listen. Let me okay, tell you about right, women. When right. you start dating somebody first, you right. wear your cool lingerie, your pretty lacy stuff. The lady does. Yeah. When the, the boy does, stuff. then we have issues. I, yes, yeah. then we go from <laughs> the lady does. And once you settle into the routine, you know the boy starts okay, partying point, and burping, yoga. and the woman starts wearing a normal cotton underwear. This is the truth oh, of life. Right. And you, you're bang on. But can I just ask you? So is that now I'm married? It's all over for me. But I'm still young. So and for people out there, young men are listening. Uh, so if the lady uh, gets into the the lingerie, that's a good sign, is it? That means she, she's really putting out yeah, the yeah. best performance for yeah, you. Yeah, if yeah. you can you. see the lingerie, you already reach a good sign. <laughs> Amit, you have opened my eyes. <laughs> wearing an outside so clothes, if, run. Okay. What if you're seeing the lingerie from your house with the binoculars and you know with the p- curtain open from her side? I mean, is that the same thing? Not the same. Not Precisely, no. <laughs> Peepingtom.com, 8.56 on the list. <laughs> Damn that. Damn that, man. All right, let's get back to three. Amit, you struggled. Three and you've given me one. I know. Chavi's given me one a little, little bit more. I'll give um, you more. I, I no, but she, she had... gave you the most non-specific no. one possible, right? No, Look but, to the future. I mean <laughs> no, potential. No, I liked it. She was she was very precise and she knew what she was talking about. I thought you were dilly-dallying. I'm worried that you're oh, no, a so, okay. misanthrope who hates Let, the country. Go well, on. no, no, no. I don't think that at all, right? So I, I, I guess uh, maybe the other thing is the close ties with family and social stuff which is not really as so much structure is good is, yeah I mean like you know support it's a, for oldies for example exactly. support for infants for example exactly so I mean like that that's another uh, big positive well, that's true I, we all have relatives in America and not to criticize the West but it's a far more clinical atmosphere yeah. you know boom Crash, work, come back, old people's home, Florida, see you later. Well, th- that's the way it is. Uh, right, no, so I mean, like, yeah, there, there are closer family structures over here. People much are, better. Yeah, so I mean, like... Right I th- till the time the nanny dies. I mean, you're holding her tight and li- <laughs> touching her feet. And you only pull the bangles off if no one's in the room. You know what I'm saying? So I, I, I think it's much better here. Yeah, you know, I, I, I think that part is uh, definitely... What about Mehman culture? I'll tell you honestly, we are amongst the most welcoming people I in the think world. So that's I've had true. American uh, and uh, African friends in St. Xavier's College, for example. We bring them all home all the yeah. time. All right. I spent four months in America and not a single ethnic American invited me anywhere. Only the foreign students would hang out together and call you. Well, I don't know about that, but well, I you're, will you're say, a pretty girl, so that doesn't count. Talk about ugly Indian men. Yeah, we got nothing. Yes, I'm going to give you a corollary to that, my experience, yeah. which is that uh, we are more hospitable, I think, and without sounding really classist and, and racist. Um, I have gone to people's houses in America where they're eating a meal. And if somebody comes to your house and you're eating a meal, what do you do here? You, you say, please food, join yeah. us. They never do Come that. Come sit. Never. They, they never say, do just that. Please have a seat. And the moment you go out for dinner, they're all 
all pay their own bills. I didn't even know that existed as a culture. Well, My first time in New York, four bloody different people, four different bills came to the table. I was like, but, uh, well, I mean, but that's something that I we, like. It. Yeah, I do that. I know, but too. I know, but you know, we don't have that. Our gene is no, but you know, you you pretend to be. Uh, I, I think it depends, right? I mean, like, uh, and so with some of my friends, we do do that because what? Well, see, I mean, like, you go. Some of these places are expensive, right? You go to you go to like uh, you go to uh, Bombay Canteen. That's like two thousand five hundred, three thousand yeah. no, bucks here, per here's head. Here's the other thing: if everybody's is iniqui- iniquitable in what they order, like for example, that's if I'm not drinking that's that thing night, as well, yeah. I don't want to underwrite your alcohol. Whole thing. Yeah. It's a straight up attitude. If I'm having a steak which is banned, unless it's the right yeah. bovine, <laughs> uh, and it costs it, X exactly. amount, you're having a dosa. Which, uh, I mean, we obviously it should yeah. be shared at one fifty versus twenty or whatever. Exactly yeah. right. Although in which country? Although I'll get I have a steak to say, I've learned the hard way. What's probably be Bangladesh? I've learned the hard way that if you are sharing and you realize you're sharing, bloody well order the most expensive thing on the menu. Because later, when you feel like you've skimped, you realize you've underwritten everybody else's mentality for doing that. No, but uh, coming back to the whole hospitable thing, I still think the Mehman culture is best. Yeah, I've traveled a bit. When you go and to somebody's house, that's our, absolutely much our better. Our whole family over. will bend over backwards and they will not spend a rupee. Let's and I face like it. that people can't, don't come empty handed when they come over. And, and this is true of Pakistan as well. Let me tell you, they're very hospitable. There's one thing you cannot deny Pakistan is very hospitable. Yeah, that, that that's and the, they really respect the guest. The guest doesn't. Have, you won't have to spend a rupee. Of course, two months later, declare war and then you kill the same <laughs> guest. But the point is, you know, I mean, that's. I think that's something. Yeah. We've got, uh, we've got, so we've got potential guys. We've there we got, go. We've got we've uh, got good family support. structures. A revoked porn ban. Does uh, that, that, that <laughs> <somewhere>? no. <laughs> family structure. Anything else? Um, Chavi, you've given us only one point. By I, the way, I, uh, can I just say it's mm. nice to be back home where there's all this. F- Amazing food. Oh, yeah, food. Man, we got yeah, much but Melbourne food. will uh, match us. No. New York, London, no. Paris. Can you get dosa, khakra, and Of course you Boston? can. Of no. course you can. Yeah, you, you There are Indians no. everywhere. We try to send more of them, but there are Indians it everywhere. It doesn't taste the same. The sweat is no, 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 different. It doesn't here. taste the same. Means not the Jap- water is different Japan is the best whiskey in the world. All that is changing. Globalization. You just say the sweat is everything. different over here. Yeah, that, uh, people are sweating just a stereotype. Chubby, that's a stereotype. I eat off the road because, unlike you, I don't have a fancy car and driver waiting outside. You don't have some other chubby What? I don't know. I just like to. Make myself middle class when I'm struggling. I know, struggling. you saw how you I'm took off to, to come Bushan. down. <laughs> so no, no, I'll tell you honestly. Uh, this is a, uh, Amit, you, you're a, you know, you, we all ate from the road. I love yeah, him. I still do. Today, the sandwich guy, I love him. The guy yeah, outside, yeah. famous. So you're record. saying his sweat is not a Of course not. Ingredient? What rubbish is that? I know. Yeah, so so, on, so then you go and tell your mother that, and the mother would go, uh, put something under her arm <laughs> and drop it. <laughs> so my mom could understand why the che- normal veg toast sandwich, I would go bring in that dirty white paper, and you know, she'd get worried about the disease, you know. And so she said, I'll make it. And she tried to make it. Doesn't it taste different? It does. It so was rubbish. My oh, my mom won't hear this, of course. You're proving my point. No, no, it's not the sweat. They yes. just don't make the they, thing they, better. They, my, they, my they, they, they're professional so not only are you saying it's the sweat of the bhaiya who I makes it, but it's, it's, of the but it's his by. particular sweat Absolutely. because my mother's sweat won't work. Totally. What the hell is wrong with okay, you, Jamie? Listeners, come on, tell me. Listen, what I don't. I, this is kind of making me ill, man. Just thinking about this. <laughs> I know, and I look at what I've got. I've been raised on I my. I need out I've been, all the damn time. I, mean, I can't even think it's it's about. According to Chubby, I've been sweat and the dirt that is actually made. I've been raised on Rampal's uh, sweat and my mother's sweat for the last forty years. <laughs> yeah, it's ridiculous. It's a good and thing you balanced her. <laughs> that would be really bad. We'll take a break and then we'll come back because we've digressed. We were trying to be patriotic, guys. You were supposed to give me three points. We'll get back to it. Three points each. I'm trying to lead the countries in seventy-one. <laughs> when they gave Bangladesh their own space? You know, on this August occasion of August, August. 15, the lowest form of humor, from the lowest comedian in the bloody ranks ever. Let me just say one thing. I met Gary Lawyer, leading Parsi uh, philanthropist. His real name is Rowington. Oh. He, he liked a golfer called Gary Player. Yeah, I know Gary who, Player. Very famous. And, so the, and he used to pretend to be him. And they started calling him Gary because of his love for Gary Player. I love Viv Richards. Nobody called but me he's Viv. He's not a golfer. He's a singer, no? Gary Lawyer? Gary, Gary Lawyer is a singer. singer. Yeah. But he, golf is something he plays, oh, Chavi. Are we having like an intellectual moment again? Because his last name is Lawyer. But that is very <laughs> typical of Parsi. <laughs> Uh, there's engineer who's actually a cricketer. There's lawyer who's actually a singer. Uh, I mean, uh, there's merchant who's actually a investigative reporter for a. Dude, I thought reading. merchants are Muslim. They can be everything. Please don't be so. Good dressing merchants also. Please understand this country is a globalized sort of situation, a right. village now. And the merchant of Venice. One also yes, and the one name and don't rhyme Venice with any other word. And the one name uh, it belongs to rhyme everyone. With anything except Venice. No, it doesn't. It rhymes with uh, when it you go back to eight fifty seven websites, you'll find it. <laughs> you'll find it used. There. We've had this can we just get back to my issue here? So I spoke to Gary Lawyer, and I want to give you. A, I want to give a nice India moment, a slightly jingoistic moment. So I asked Gary Lawyer once. I said, "Any regrets? Because you know you have all these." 
these youngsters coming in uh, singing their hindi uh, playbacks and all when you know with all your talent you know you're not in that wave and he said i have only one regret i love this country but i have one regret and i said what giving up my green card <laughs> <laughs> No, I don't know. So here's the question: How patriotic are you? If we give everybody a green card and then say, "Okay, now what do you want to do?" Yeah, so, Amit, come on, be honest. Well, my uncle who lives in the U.S. says this all the time, right? I love India. I love visiting, and they India. do. He loves visiting. Emotionally, India. they love us. No, he loves visiting. He's yeah. like, as long as I know that I'm going back, I yeah. love coming to India. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. You know, so I mean, that I guess. So this is, NRI feel good factor from abroad is a bit hypocritical sometimes. It's completely not. I love India. I love Hindi films and Indian culture and TV and all that, and they'll be really nice to people like us. But at the end of the day, they won't leave. Uh, Are you segueing? Are I you don't segueing watch into Hindi the Satya Nadella Sundar Bachai thing? Because that would be awesome. Dude. That's what I'm doing. You read my mind, and today I'm wearing nothing else. So that's all you can read. In support of porn Don't all over the world. All this stuff, let's man. move. Let's move that to we famous Indians. Famous. We're about NRIs, <laughs> Indians who went abroad and made it, and they love our country. Were they, they born there, or did they move? There? No, no, no. The ones we're talking about all are born here. Yeah. Okay, they are Indians who made good. Second generation doesn't count. They're just brown-skinned uh, Westerners. Yeah, exactly. Means nothing to us. But I mean, like the yeah. guys who are leaving from here, right? Like, yeah. They had a Google, they had a Microsoft. There Both of them are like. I mean, that's huge. They're our age, and they basically went there. Well, yeah. not Chavi's age. She's young. Okay, uh, yeah, young but, yeah. And I moved back. And you? Why did you move back, Chavi? Awkward silence. Answer. Did you see that? We all were, we were actually stunned. Like when somebody says, "My, you know, so and so died." Just nobody. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you move back? For the samosas. For the mangoes. For the bloody samosas. For the food and the mangoes. So let's move straight to our super successes. His name is Sundar Pichai. I was testing you. Pichai rhymes with Kichai. And uh, wow, forty-three, forty-four years old, and now he's almost. Do we know? He's probably the most I powerful or the second probably most powerful not. man in the IT world. But I doubt it. I mean, like most of these... Indian he's not single. He's married. I've done his research. Yeah. Okay, there you go. Tell me, what do you think? If he's um, single, you want to go hitch up with Listen, him? Listen, what's her name? Rachel whatever. Right. Had a picture of Tom Cruise in her bedroom when she was little and she grew up and she married him. Rachel who? who? What is her name? Yeah? I don't know. Who no, married Rachel him. married him. You're the, talking about Katie Holmes. Katie Holmes. That's Where's the the Rachel? Oh. Where's the Rachel? Where's huh? Rachel? Katie Holmes had a poster <laughs> of Tom Cruise. She's my age. Poster of Tom Cruise, just like my friend Sunanda did. And then she grew up and she married him. Of course, okay. she divorced now him I'm and really he turned worried. out to be a kook. I'm really but worried because I had a poster a of Imran Khan Katie. growing up. <laughs> So you have a poster, a poster of Imran Khan to cricket out the chai. I mean, what get, poster do you have? Uh, See, my patriotism, uh, I had Imran Khan, huh? the cricketer. Okay. From across the border. I, you know what I had? I had that uh, 1991 five all-rounder the poster with like yeah. Kapil Dev, big, Richard Hadley, yeah. oh uh, yeah. Imran, Imran Khan, Imran Khan. Ian Botham. You yeah. Were, you want to put some money aside for the various <laughs> weddings? According to Chavi. Can we get back to the NRI achievers? Sorry, sorry. <laughs> so let's talk first about Sundar and then we'll go back to Nadella and all these others as well. And you know, I just want to quickly say, because we, when we're talking about August 15, these are the stories we should highlight. Exactly. Not the yeah. ban on porn, not the ban on beef, not the problems we have in infrastructure, not the absolute corruption which is rampant from the smallest peon to the cops, to the post office, to the passport office, to the people on the road, to everybody you deal with, including private people like ourselves in enterprises like ours. I know because we have to spend a little money just to get the studio, which I can't talk about. But uh, <laughs> let's talk about a success story which is clean, nice. He, let's call him the true Indian boy who made good. Now, of course, you're true American Outside boy. India. Yeah, but that's good enough because the world is a village. No, but see, I mean, like, that's one of the things we should think <laughs> about too, right? I mean, like all of these guys are making their way in other places. You know, I mean, like the the fact is that they don't have the opportunities to do that stuff over here, and that yeah. is one there of is the things. Email going future. around. Have you seen it? The forward about like everybody, the brain drain, and they've got a list of everybody who's done well, and then they <laughs> itemize Except it you, and say who went then came, came back. back. Itemize it and say, had he been here, he would have been a peon in the aviation ministry. Had he been here, he would have been a, a coder in the Bangalore office. Zero like that. Sorry. Yeah, and in Sundar's case, he'd have had a full Tamil name, which he sort of cut down on, <laughs> since he had to figure out life there. I know a couple of Tamil Sundar. No, but, but Sundar is the first name. It's yeah. Pichai, which is not sounding correct. Yeah, that sounds yeah. a little short. It sounds like a tale in Hindi, and it's not working. But uh, he is working and doing very well. And the thing here is, these are the inspirational stories that people perhaps we need to highlight more. We do have successes which are clean. The guy came from a low middle class background. He went to a school which has the name Vidyalaya attached to it, which is not a bad thing. Which is not a bad thing from any angle. I'm not one of those elitist animals. Of course mm -hmm. not. But 
for him to go from there to now probably the top five people in the internet world, if not the top two or three. I mean, that's and he's what forty three, forty four. Yeah. yeah. All right. I mean, that's fantastic. That's really good. Yeah, it's an amazing achievement, right? I mean, like, and and, and I mean, like, it is achievement that he has done, right? I mean, like, this guy brought Android. Uh, he's 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 the guy who started. He's the Chrome. Android man, is it? I, I think first he was Chrome, right? I think he's the guy who was the main developer for the Chrome browser. Which and just to tell our listeners, listeners, not the Chrome shop that takes hours and hours to deliver things in Bombay. That's totally no, different. No, our listeners, I think, a little more savvy than you. <laughs> you do have no idea. You always read books. <laughs> I, I got the right list. The porn guys, you know, they've gone. Because you mentioned books and they all ran away. Now we're glorifying IT nerds. So they're going berserk here. What? What? Porn? Bring me back my porn! Yeah. So, a uh, quick word on our super achievers who've done well abroad. I, I mean, like, the, it, it's, it's tremendously impressive the fact that, I mean, like, he's been able to grow as fast as he could within Google and get to the, where he has. I mean. And a quick word on his personal life as well. I was doing some digging and Sundar is basically very liberal. He's married, but he's apparently uh, very pro the gay issue and, you know, uh, fought for, because uh, Tim Cook, is it? Who came out? Tim Cook, uh, Apple CEO. Uh, the Apple CEO. So he came in out in support on every social uh, uh, th- network that he could. And he's just one of those guys who basically you can tell your kid, you know, grow up and be him. He's, he's nice. He's a humanitarian. He's an achiever. He's done well. He's probably, there's, I can't find a single bad thing about him yet. No, no. I mean, like. The it, Tiger Woods it, moment hasn't happened. Not, and it's unlikely to happen, right? I mean, like, th- these are different kinds of. Uh, there's, this is different kind of fame, right? This is not the Tiger Woods kind of fame. But is Tiger, did it, was it his personality? He said he was a sex addict. I don't think that's something your fame brings you. Well, that fame brings opportunity. Yeah. Again, you guys go back to sex. Yeah. I was talking about this guy, Sundar Pichai, and you his achievements. Up Tiger I, Woods. Not, I brought up Tiger Woods. You were about sex addict. And your what mind is, the Tiger is in Woods the gutter. Moment. Winning the Masters? This 857 no. porn size being banned has changed the two of you forever. <laughs> you, everything it relates back to sex. You're Freudian no, yeah, in that it's way. It's just us. Cyrus, not you at all. I would ask you to lie on the couch and talk about your parents but we don't have a couch and I don't know your parents so let's move on <laughs> thank you alright so let's talk about Nadella as well we've got what uh, three or four big names yeah, on the no, so, I mean there are a number of them right I mean like and it's not and a just a couple in jail but yeah. that's another story no, all the yeah. way back from Indra Nui I guess yeah, yeah, so, Indra Nui good Indra point, Nui, good point. I like your feminist moment there thank yeah. you uh, because all male ma- yes. males from South India you had enough <laughs> let's yeah. get some girls totally. they're so underrepresented yeah, yeah. But, I mean like there's so many more right I mean like there's the energy drink person who's like a billionaire I can't remember his name offhand uh, some Indian He's an Indian guy, Indian guy from San Antonio. Desi done good, DDG. This uh, email that I got now, I also had uh, Mr. Bhatia of Hotmail and said, had he stayed in India, he would have just been at MTNL or something. (laughs) (laughs) Although Mr. Bhatia is not in that class, uh, with due respect. He's very rich now. He is very rich. He was quite pioneering. Hotmail, man. I mean, like, that's what made email democratic. the first internet-based. You know, I mean, like, before Hotmail, email used to be, you had to have a university connection or you need to get... And you needed to be on your computer only. Sundar was paid 50 million in 2011 to stay back. Back. 50 million to stay yeah. back. Yeah, because yeah. I mean, like, yeah. dude, I mean, like, for these people, that is, uh, for Google, 50 million is a lot of money for anybody, but it's like, if you got the guy who's gonna basically take, take your him operating him. system and turn into it into the, the most used kind of computing platform in the world and 50 million is a small price to pay for that. So can't we work with Google more? Can't we also be part of that whole engine? Yeah, we do work with Google. No, Download our sense, app on the, the Play sense. Store. Uh, if you search on Google, you'll find well Cyrus done, Well done. <laughs> Jai Hind to you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Your patriot when it comes to the podcast. I can but tell you that. sponsorship also. Huh? Stop discussing uh. business. <laughs> We're here to save our country. Yeah, I was just saying. So this are podcast any, can save our country. Chavi, are there any Indians that you can think of, Desis or Indians here, that you really like? Yes. And who you like their body of work the you know what the trail they've left many behind. people so let's take a few names now alright so August one 15. of them works out of your dad's office Abod Abod yes WSD. definitely Save, That's fantastic saving work. animals top their of the line their website is wsdindia.org yeah. I think yeah say it again sorry I interrupted you wsdindia.org oh, yeah, yeah, sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. then uh, there's another a couple of people I met somebody very interesting last weekend they're working was on was this morning or night um, what was he wearing what did he smell of how much do you like him? <laughs> Can you call him back? Can we just... Uh, Is no, he married? Yes, yes. Did he wink at you? No. Was he too forward? <laughs> Cyrus. <laughs> answer the bloody question, woman. No, I'm going to tell you my answer. Okay, sorry. Come on. So, they're working to develop a fabric that is anti... Um, it is antiseptic. Okay, I was about to fall asleep. It took so long and it's fabric. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, the deal is, and this is not a dinner table conversation, sorry to everybody. They're making menstruation pads, <laughs> sanitary napkins for women in the villages <laughs> who uh, 
to, you know, don't, don't have, access. have access. And they can reuse these because they're actually... Reuse? I'm yeah. a big fan of that. And they, they, and they have germicidal properties in the material. There's nothing and added to it. F- not been done in the rest of the world? Never. So and they're going to pilot it next time. It's a huge time. breakthrough. Who's the yeah. lady who designed this? Uh, there is a whole team working on it. Is it male or female? What the hell the does the person male I know about all this? I spoke to is male. He's what are you saying? He's a man who's dedicated his life to making women more comfortable he's in the nether regions? Yeah, he's funding Why it. Why did I think of that? <laughs> you were an quite a hero. Ah, one second, Sundar Kivichai, you're off my list. Up goes Mr. Unknown Indian, who's going to make a life better for menstruating people around the world. Hey, so we should and plug this. People, I'm huh? going to have a show where I'm going to talk to all these really cool people who are doing wonderful things to change. Can the I get world? some free pads for friends of mine? Sure, I'll ask I'm hitting that. So he's going to be on. Got to do this now. Uh, phrase with my friends. Huh? So got to go fast. Menopause. Menopause is when you don't. Oh, no, you have the female pad. friends. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Ah, <laughs> ah. Just for that, menopause two years earlier for you. <laughs> okay, we got to take a break. Uh, we went from porn and all that to menstruation. I think we've done the whole gamut. Yes. If you're eight years old and listening, please call the government. Please don't now. be listening if you're eight years old. Why not? Aren't are we PG thirteen or what? There's nothing wrong with menstruating. First no, thing we have to PG thirteen. We vape. Yeah, yeah, so let's not make it a big deal. Did you hear about the woman deal. who ran the marathon in London without her? And uh, sort of Campon. bloody London makes yeah. sense now, is it? Yeah, yeah. All right, we'll take oh. a break, then we'll come back. That's not even funny. That's <laughs> the bloody yeah. tower, by the way. I should go by the tower because that's, you know, really the bloody. Maybe that's what <laughs> happened then. Yeah. Miss Gandhi. What? Her name was what? Okay, we'll take a break. We'll take a break. Don't, don't answer that. <laughs> uh, Cyrus says, ask me anything. If you want Cyrus to answer your questions on air, send an email to says at gmail.com. If you send us a link to a sound file on SoundCloud, we'll even play you asking the question in your own voice. And that's what Cyrus says. And here on Cyrus says, three patriots, not necessarily from India, but uh, three patriots no less, Amit, myself and Chavi, uh, the brains behind this show. And you wonder why you need three people when you hear the intellectual property, the show is. But uh, this is the AMA time where we ask questions and we're in this whole fervor of patriotism, but we want to do it in a, what I think, an intellectual way, which is you don't overdo the celebration. Right. You look at what's wrong with the country and then you know you don't have enough time to talk about that. So then you look <laughs> at what's right and you finish your show in 10 minutes. And uh, Chavi, what do we have? Something we about have coastal a regions. question for from Prashant mm-hmm. asking it's a Bombay question asking uh, what do you think about the Mumbai Coastal Road there's a petition out that people want you to sign by the 27th to uh, stop it are you going to are you going to sign it yeah see now I, wait should we give our listeners some context sure. I think you sure. should me yes, yes. Me? Only because you're holding the paper <laughs> and, and whatever I'm holding doesn't need to be discussed. Go on. All right. So, essentially, uh, you know, for people who are not in Mumbai, Mumbai is a peninsula. And on the west side of the okay, Arabian Sea... if you're going to take half an hour on the context... Wait, no. Go ahead. So, west side is where you have Naraman you're still Boys, on the west side. Marine Drive, and Juhu Beach, and Girgaon Chaupati, right. and all these Mud Island and all those right. you know, things. What the proposal is, is to build a road to reclaim some land, 100 meters... I think out mm-hmm. uh, reclaim the land on the coastline and line. although they had wanted to make these series of ceilings out of which they managed to make one they are now going to scrap that they've spent 26 crores developing those ceiling projects they're going to scrap that and reclaim some land and now build a road from south to north connecting all of this and essentially so just say the two connections that would save a lot of time Kandivali, we're starting from yeah what is the end point Kandivali it's right? a 36 kilometer to uh, Nariman point, point right? yeah. and which all the way everything almost uh, can you just name the three four places Places, we will, the big Marine, places, drive, Marine Drive, Marine Drive, Chow Party, Haji Ali, Reach Candy, Reach Candy, Mahim, Dadar, Bandra, Bandstand, Bandra, 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 Okay, no, no, I just want to say quickly, now, from a practical point of view, Amit and I live in South Bombay. So do we I. Have, uh, you, you're, you're Shivaji Park, so you're close to the link. I still have to reach the link I to know, get I can't do the link though, because it's behind me. Okay, no, listen, yes, all I'm saying is that if they connect places, because when people tell me Varsova, and my mom says me to buy fish there, fish is not banned yet, so my mom says go and buy fish in Varsova, I leave on Tuesday, come back on Thursday, and the fish dies in between, because we don't eat the fish, we actually just, we like fish, so we you know, keep them as pets. And uh, in my house they fetch balls, you know, it's a long story. Uh, don't get into right. that. So, any, so my point is, 
facial expression. If I could reach Varsova from Nariman Point, or uh, if I could reach even the da- Dadar, won't be possible. If I can reach anywhere in the suburbs, in no, about you will. there's supposed to be 22 exits off this. Yeah, but that'll take time. Then we'll get traffic. I'm saying, what is on the course? If I can reach fast, if I can reach Varsova, it's so far sure, away. Sure, in could. probably 20 minutes, 25 minutes, yeah. I could actually live in a bungalow there, which costs the pr- at the moment the price of my garage in Mumbai Hill, and and I could work here. I'm going to move our studio to Varsova, and we'll have a huge one. Fair yeah. enough. Now yeah. we all activities. Chavi, you key. and I change in the same room after going to the gym oh, because God. we have only 200 <laughs> square feet. <laughs> Nonsense. And, and that is why you spend a lot of time wearing a scarf from your head to your toe yes. because you don't want to see things. Yes. And that is why I have big eyes and just stare at you for hours. <laughs> but that's not, the point. Yeah. that's not the point. Uh, the point is connectivity is the future. Connectivity, sure, sure. But, but at what price? This, the price is too high here. And they've done a SWOT analysis and it's the ecological Who's cost they? Who's this mysterious high. they? Yeah, exactly. I mean, Where like, does they, they come the from? Analysis, Internet is full of they. There is no SWOT inside that yes, analysis. Yes, there is a SWOT analysis. There is no SWOT. There there is SWOT are groups, groups, use the word SWOT so easily. You know what SWOT means? SWAT is when you're in North India and you're trying to show Pasina here, my SWAT. <laughs> okay, Please so understand. there are alternatives. And I, for example. What are you against? So well, what have, is the environmental damage? This? Come to the point. The mangroves are going to be all gone. Oh, that's Do you bad. understand that no, there the, is fauna the and flora that lives there? Hold on, hold on. It controls the, the tides. They can't repurpose them. The mangroves are the all mangroves going to Mangroves are like the roots that hold No, hello. Have you been to Bandra or looked around Walkeshwar? There are plenty of mangroves. The Mithi River opens out into Mahim and Dadar. We're going to get rid of all these. She swims in the Mithi River. We're not getting rid of all of this stuff. They are all going to get rid. I have to. This is this is basically worst case scenario. No, no, it is absolutely sanctioned. This is already part of the plan. You guys, you need to read up on it. It's a terrible plan. There are alternatives. I disagree. What there are alternatives? alternatives. Quickly. So, a the bloody ceilings that they've already spent twenty six crores. That would take forty years crore rupees. They can nothing. do it faster. Please. Shavi, twenty six crore rupees is nothing Whatever. in the context. They of can still. It's still India our made, money. That's no, just going to be the ceilings. Come on, you're talking about saving. Uh, no, we're talking about ceilings. Damage. Damage. You're talking about saving five hundred crore okay. rupees per no, kilometer on the ceiling. Other option. Other option. Or no? Stop. The Listen, other option, by the time the ceilings come on, we'd have to be no, sold no, to China. It doesn't have to be that slow. Please, they build the exter- the Eastern Freeway, which for non-Bombay listeners connects Nariman Point Will to Will you Thane. stop telling them details? In much... In, that, how long did that take? Two years? Less than two years? A year and a half? Possibly, Please, yeah. It's yeah, totally possible. Built on, it it is totally possible. Are they, that, I'm sorry. That was that was corruption by, is the only land. reason that the ceiling took Rishi 10 Kapoor. years. He just it's wanted to come to town. Whatever. Huh, so water taxis? We could totally do water taxis. They've been... Proposed and then. Do you know how many disappear? water taxis you'll need to ferry people? Yeah, it's totally possible. What happens the monsoons? Then we have other options. Build the ceilings. Uh, so we, we, so we, we build, should we not put all, all the, put all the pressure on one road. It's a really stupid Let idea. Let me study the mango issue. I'll got... give my decision later. I don't have time now. Let's move on. We'll, we'll just have to uh, disagree on this point slightly. I think we will. Some I mean, sense of connectivity greatly. has to happen. Or we yeah, have no. okay, for people, by the way, it's so change.org. Please sign the petition. Well, please don't. If you do sign that petition, you're basically Read up on it. I mean, read up on it. Yeah, no, I'm saying let's form a new petition. I'm saying we tell the government, okay, don't do the coastal area, but give us back porn. We we got to we got to lobby. No, Let's lobby. You Let's have get to what we take want. Take into take into uh, consideration all the damage you're going to do and come you up have with to all the so people's people quality of life. I mean, like the fact is, right now somebody the quality who lives of, in, you know we'll have more shavi because I've never been to Warsaw yeah. because it's so will far away. Take over the city if we build this bloody road. I, my kids have never seen Warsaw. I want to show them Warsaw. One of the most beautiful parts of where is it exactly? What are you talking about? <laughs> I don't know. Can we move on? Sure. I'm yeah. bored of the question and the it was lovely to see your awesome. fight but uh, there's no interest for the regular viewer who started with 857 pod websites and <laughs> doesn't know why we've gotten digressed. Well, people are leaving India. Patriotism is over because of our show. That is they're, they're absolutely. We've got a Bangladesh. That's more fun. Well, there are more opportunities. See, in Bangladesh, there's no question of mangroves. All right? You have the money, you do the thing. It's, it works in there a There are mangroves. That is true. The the, there are two mangroves over. left. Oh. One tiger. <laughs> okay, And lots of fish but there's mostly fresh water. Yeah, Can we uh, exactly. get back to the next question which there is... There is no next question. Excellent. So let's roll up the show now Let's end it because I've, I've had enough. Uh, it's a lovely country, and uh, Amit, you came back from Jai America. Uh, Jai Hind is a college in Bombay. Yes, yes. Uh, you want to give the directions now? You get off at Valkeshwar. Give you context a first. And go to Church Gate. Why is it called Jai Hind? Why didn't you call it the government? <laughs> I wanted to call it Puja. I, I, you like the I national, name Puja. Like, they said no Puja. Like it's now called Jai Hind. Is it actually called Jai Hind? It yeah, it is Jai Hind. This is Jai Hind College. It's conditioning, right? So that you, you go to college yeah. and you say Jai Hind. Jai Hind. <laughs> and they don't make you sing the national anthem when you enter college in Jai Hind. I actually studied for six months in Jai Hind in the law college section. Did the, you? No, nobody knew about the national anthem. I hadn't heard of it. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Jai Hind, but nobody knew. And next year was HR House of Romance, lovely college. No Jai Hind also has a very convoluted, long 
abbreviated name, right? No, that's HR. HR is Hasaram Regional College of Commerce and Economics. All right, why don't you guys SMS each other all these details because I'm absolutely <laughs> out of time and completely bored. Our last words on August 15th. Uh, just check the calendar. That is Independence Day. August 15th, last words as India goes into its next year. And we've had one year, three months of this government and everybody's feeling a little cynical. Anything positive you can spin quickly? Uh, okay, great, great. <laughs> <laughs> you, Chavi? <laughs> Uh, you want me to? Uh, why don't I you, give the government some advice? Yeah, go ahead. Ban the bans. Excellent. I was thinking you're going to get into directions and geography. <laughs> you know, if you get off at the other, they take the TT and they go to the bridge. You know, the government would be changed by then. So you can't go on talking. It's not your show. You have your own show. You talk there. Let me talk on this show. I get nothing on this That's show. A three words, Cyrus. Okay, let's end with three glorious words. Jai we hand. want porn. <laughs> All right. On that note, happy Independence happy Day. Happy Independence Day, Day yeah. to everybody, not just India, uh, to people from other countries who have left us. So <laughs> it's a happy note for them as well. All right. And remember, if you're in a cinema, leave or rather enter only after the anthem is done. That's that's, good. That, that, that's the solution. Actually. That's the solution. That, that that's, the solution. that's what the solution. I do. That's what I do. I, I miss the first three minutes. Sometimes you can't cut it so fine. Yeah. And Tough, you know, you and me are not athletes, I mean, so it takes us a while also to get true. in. <laughs> yeah. All right. Jai Hind. Bye bye. We'll see you next year. Well, not really, but in between as well. You're listening to Cyrus Says. All views and opinions expressed on this show are not necessarily the views and opinions of the Indus Vox Media Network or any of our show advertisers or sponsors. No animals were harmed in the making of this podcast, obviously. All right, Cyrus Says is wrapping up, but we have Geek Fruit, which we want you to check out. Hosted by Uber Geeks, Tejas, Menon and Jishnu Guha. They're like Simon and Garfunkel, except they're Tejas and Jishnu and they can't sing. No, they can actually. And they talk about geek culture. If you're a geek or want to know about geeks or live with a geek or just next to Turkey is geek, uh, go ahead, my friends. Uh, listen to Geek Fruit.